My name's Brian Nash. I'm the host of a genealogical podcast called How We Got Here, where I explore the family histories of Atlantic Canadians. And today on this video, it's an, another one of my sort of fun videos that I'm going to do, um, partially because if you look outside, this was, I recorded this about a half hour ago. This is, this is what it's like in my backyard. There's my dog, Kate. And so I'm getting ready to head to work soon. And I, I was hoping to maybe, you know, do something outside for a little bit. I was even thinking of maybe taking the dog for a short walk. At least that was my plan before I kind of got out of bed this morning and saw what the weather was like. So I'm going to do a little something different just to remind myself of where I would really rather be. So um, down here, this is a, a YouTuber that I, I follow, and another genealogical YouTuber, Vanessa, uh, Vanessa's Kindred Geo Genealogy. Vanessa is again in, she is in Australia, which, which I think sh should be pretty warm right now. So to think about warm things, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm going to um, go and we're going to play one of these games that I've recently discovered. It's um, GeoGuessr and I'm going to give her a fair chance. I'm, not even ch I'm challenging her, but I'm really challenging her more not to laugh at my lack of knowledge. Um, I actually did this once already and I, I did a little better than I actually thought it was going to do. Um, Unfortunately, it took me a long time and the video wound up crashing while I was recording. So I'm going to try this one more time and see what I can do. I'm going to do a few little things here. I'm not going to use the default settings. I'm going to do the time limit. Uh, time limit per round. Let's do three minutes. Five five minutes. So would, no, let's do it. Like, I want three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes, ten seconds. Okay. Um, I'm going to let myself move and zoom in and everything else. I've never really played with these settings before, but I'm going to actually limit myself. So this is going to be, keep the video down to a shorter length, um, but uh, I I think it'll be good for laugh, my lack of knowledge. Um, the one thing I have to do, say, when I was roaming around earlier, I, I just was realizing how many place names um, in Australia are the same as Canadian place names. I, you know, that, that just goes to our genealogy and our heritage. So here we go. Vanessa, prepare to have a good laugh. Don't be drinking tea or, or uh, anything else when you do this. If you don't want to shoot out your nose, I'm sure. So round one. Again, 5,000 points is the most you can get. I'm in a city. So which city is this? I have no clue. Let's see. Can I zoom in? Hunger and free Sydney. Okay, so I'm Sydney somewhere. Um, my, my timer's going on. Um, oh, it's a Coke sign. It looks like it could be like a main square. So this is... Um, I'm trying to see a street name. If I can at least see a street name, maybe I'll get something. Darlinghurst Road. Okay, is this somewhere else? And so this is the problem. Darlinghurst Road. Holy moly, it's the name of the place. So let's look for Darlington Road, and there's a place called Holy Moly. It's a, and I'm in Sydney. So Darlington Road. This is the problem. You get in a place in Darlington Road. I wish I could make this map bigger so it filled up the whole screen um, Darlington Road Darlington Road Darlington Road again laugh at me if you're from Australia because I know nothing about you so I have just under two minutes left Darlington 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 I mean it looks like a pretty big area um, to me, it reminds me of like Times Square sort of thing, a big central spot. Yeah. So I'm assuming it's a it's a fairly big street. Um, um, 
Global Switch Center, Darlington, Darlington. Is there other places around here I can, some property. Peels, good to be back, haha. Uh -huh. Okay. No, that's not telling me anything. Okay. Darlington, Darlington, Darlington Road. So I have one minute left. Broadway. Uh, I said it was reminding me of Broadway. Is there a Darlington Road around here? Central Park. Well, I said it actually reminded me of. I'm. I'm. I know I'm nowhere near. Why? Well, I'm. I'm in at least the right city. I'm going to just go there. I know Darlington is not there, but let's guess. 1.8 kilometers. Not bad. 4,982 points. Let's go to my next round. This is a lot of pressure with this time limit. Okay, so I'm in another city. Can I tell which city it is? Um, no, not from that. Um, oh, some kind of monument. I really like monuments. Um, I, Australia is actually a place I've really always wanted to go visit. Um, but I've wanted to go visit, and I have to be able to have, you know, a couple months to go and explore because I think there's just so much to see. Um, so, anything here? Flight Center. So that's a it's some downtown somewhere. Um, so it could be one any one of the cities. So I'm just over two minutes. So let's see if I can find. I'm good at finding names of places on signs. No, always oh, that say nothing. That's the problem. They, they, they wipe out the signs sometimes, so you can't always read. Um, it's actually interesting. I was, as I mentioned earlier, I did a this. I tried to do it, and it actually crashed in my finishing my recording. It was really long anyways, which one of the reasons I decided to go for time limit. But I was thinking, all these, if you want free advertising on YouTube, get a bunch of people to do GeoGuessr videos around your places. Because I noticed I was doing it and other people do it. They point out the name of the places. Like there's provision, Elixir's Coffee. Okay, this bus, the loop. Free city service. So that's not the name of the place. Um, let me see. Yeah, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Well, that's great. I probably missed it. That was, what's the name? The musical, musical note. Okay, I'm under a minute here. So, am I in Sydney? Am I in Perth? Where am I? Come on. People know, you probably know. Let me get close. Um... Anything here, names of places. Well, it's a bank or something, is it? No. I was hoping that would be a like name of a place. I got 28 seconds. Okay. Let's, I'm going to say, I'm going to just take a guess. I'm just going to say it's in Melbourne somewhere, downtown Melbourne. Um, 17 seconds. I'm gonna go there. And how far off am I? 1,377. So I was up in Brisbane. So I thought, yeah, I did really bad. Um, next round. And I'm in the middle of a, a rural area. Okay, so there's mountains and desert. That seems to be a description of what I think a lot of Australia is like. So, is there anything here that tells me name of place? Um, and it's supposed to be a famous place. So, what? Glen, and it, and it stopped. This is what happens sometimes. So, good thing is it didn't even give me a reset on the time, did it? Yes, it did. Okay. Well, that's nice. At least I know that. Um, so, Glen Rowan. I think I saw that name before in Freehold Property. 
First National. Sticky Artie. Okay, Sticky Artie Bits. That's a funny name for something. Mr. Morgan Store. Okay. That looks like. Is that a Scottish flag? No. So what is that guy? He's. That looks like some mountain range. It must be a park. Ned Kelly. I've heard of Ned Kelly. Um, but. Mount Morgan store. So Mount Morgan. Mount Morgan. Okay. Let's see. What's the Mount Morgan? I have no idea where it is. Mount Morgan. Mount Morgan. Anything here is I'm gonna look is or Mount Morgan National Park or anything like Nature Reserve. Mount Morgan. Mount Morgan. It's really hard. There's so many places, and I don't even know where to look. I have no idea which territory, or they call them states. I can't remember. Mount Morgan. Canberra. That's the national capital. I do know that much about Australia. Um, so a minute, a minute left. Mount Morgan. So let's go in near the interior. And Glen Rowan was the name of the place I saw there too, wasn't it? Mount Issa. Is there mount other mountains around here? Like I said, a lot, I noticed a lot of recognizable Scottish, English names, places, names, that even Croydon, we have a Croydon around here. Um, a lot of unique names too. I don't want to say that they're not, but okay. I have 26 seconds, so I got to guess somewhere. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go right in the middle <laughs> or somewhere near it. And I was way off 147 points for being 1,764 kilometers off. Okay, and there's another very indistinct place. Come on. I want a place that uh, give me this, the Sydney Opera House. I know. I, I, I know that's in Sydney at least. I don't have to take my time and look around. Tropical plant rentals. Okay, that doesn't tell me where it is. That doesn't help. Fresh and clean. There's more to discover. What well, more to discover where? Newcastle. Okay, I saw Newcastle when I was looking at the map earlier. Um, I actually didn't know there was a Newcastle. But I think it was... I'm trying to remember where I saw Newcastle. I was around Canberra. I've, I'm trying to think it was. It was when I was looking there that, that last round, I came across Newcastle. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was up farther north. I was looking around the parks. I feel like I don't remember that. Toowoomba. Newcastle. Emerald. There's an emerald not far from where I'm at, actually. I bet you that emerald's probably a lot bigger. Um, I know it wasn't around there because I don't remember seeing that. Um, Newcastle, Newcastle. 53 seconds, so just under a minute. 
turf. There's not a good way. I noticed in that first game that I was playing, the one that I said crashed and when it was trying to record, there's a lot more islands that I realized that make up Australia on like outer ones that have multiple cities in them or towns. Um, so Newcastle, okay, 21 seconds. I gotta pick someplace. Um, I already have something clicked there. Um, Newcastle, Newcastle. It will go with my guess. Um, I'm gonna go there. Guess. And 784, yeah, it was North Sydney. I knew it's hot somewhere. So 1,042 points and on to the final round and Again, not the Sydney Opera House. This is just this is supposed to be famous Australian places. What is this like? Is this the Prime Minister's residence or something? What? I, like, what makes this place famous? I mean, it's got a gate, so I guess it could be. Is it like? Okay. It's a nice neighborhood and all, yeah, I give you that, but what makes this famous? Okay, is this, am I stuck in another infinite loop? Okay, come on, get me out of here. I want, I need to know places. Okay. I mean, I know these signs look different than the other ones in Sydney, so I'm, I'm, okay. I'm going to look for... And I know I have no idea. Like I know the British Prime Minister is at 10 Downing Street. And we know the presence of 1600 Pennsylvania. And for you to know Canada, um, the Prime Minister is at 24 Sussex. But I don't know where that might be. If that's even what I'm thinking of, uh, I'm just gonna pick some place. I still have a minute. Um, I wish I could. I wish I knew. It's a like cul-de-sac-y place. Embassy of Hungary. So a lot of times those places are around there. So let's just see. Embassies are and stuff are around the same place. So it looks like it could if I if I'm at all right. But I like I don't know what that would why that would be a famous place. Like unless it's somebody's specific residence. Um Okay, still have a minute left. I mean, it's a it's a residential area, so that's what's confusing. What what can make that famous? Like I said, other than if it's a specific person's residence, and the only thing that I would think that would be we would call famous residences would probably be the prime minister's presidents, you know, um, castles type thing in, in places that have monarchies. Um, so I'm just gonna look and make my last guess here and see where I'm at. I'm gonna guess there. And I was way off, that was in Melbourne. Um, but I got 2,034 points for that, not bad. So overall, let's see what I got. 8,524 points. Um, yeah, my first round it didn't do too bad, 4,982. And yeah, I kind of slumped near in the middle. Anyways, that's how bad I know Australian geography. Um, you have yourselves a great day and keep on searching for your ancestors.